good to have you with us this morning in our business insight today for January 2013. Cincinnati City Council voted to ban advertising on the public right of way. The idea was to rid the city of those unsightly ads on bus benches and bus shelters. But that action also made the bus shelters appear to be abandoned, neglected, and even unsafe. That prompted the folks at Artworks, who have given us the big pig gig and dozens of neighborhood murals to team up with Metro and make those unsavory spaces more beautiful. Later this month, 24 bus shelters downtown and in Over the Rhine will become canvases for local artists. Joining us to talk about the project this morning is Colleen Houston, Vice President of Programming and Operations for Artworks, and Jill Dunn. Public Affairs Manager at Metro. Good to have both of you with us. Thanks. Thanks for having us. Colleen, tell us a little bit about Artworks for people who aren't familiar with it. Sure. Artworks, <clears throat> excuse me, Artworks is a award-winning uh, <laughs> award nonprofit arts organization here in Cincinnati. Um, we have three strategic areas of focus, but one of which is public art. And for most of our projects, we employ youth uh, who work. They're ages 14 to 21 and they work in apprenticeships so it's a summer job for them or an after-school job and they work side by side with professional artists. But well, what kid doesn't want to paint stuff on the wall right so you get these young people and you give them an opportunity to create public art. How did this partnership start Jill? Well as you mentioned we weren't able to have advertising in our bus shelters but we really did want a way to make them uh, friendly to our customers and make it easy for people to see them and we thought this partnership with Artworks would be a great way to bring something beautiful to the shelters. We're bringing them to life with art and the beautiful pieces of art that were created by the youth apprentices that Colleen described. So we're really excited to bring this way to really highlight uh, the art within the shelters. Well I think it's a great idea. I'm sure it will beautify our city. How many young people are involved in this? So we employed eight artists, um, six youth artists working with two teaching artists. The lead artist was Ryan Little um, and Art Academy of Cincinnati generously donated the studio space where they worked all summer on their designs. It was primarily a graphic design project. So they worked in computer labs, learning graphic design programs, and refined their concepts there. All right, I'm really curious, what will these look like, Jill? They're going to be amazing. We've already seen the art, and we're so, so incredibly impressed with the talent of these students. Um, we're, we actually partnered with the Cincinnati Public Library as well as Artworks to tie in literature. So the art are actually going to be based on different books um, from childhood to adult that, that have really stood out in people's minds. And they, we actually did some surveys and got input from the community to get what kind of key pieces of literature we should highlight in this art. And the students did a great job in bringing it to life for the shelter. Well, what a great theme that encourages people to read. Are there any books that stand out to you in this project, Colleen? There are many. Um, you know, as Jill mentioned, from classic works of literature to childhood favorites. But um, one of my uh, favorites uh, was the Charlie, Cha Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. Um, I have a handful of favorites. <laughs> but I, one of my favorite aspects of this particular project, so many of our public art projects are collaborative, but this one really celebrates the unique talents of each individual artist. Um, I think you need some pictures from Go Dog Go. <laughs> That's one of the books I read to my grandson, yeah. and I know it very, very well. When do, can we expect these posters to be installed? Well, we're installing them in the next few weeks, and we are planning a dedication on September 26th, so people will be able to see all the different 24 shelters across downtown and over the Rhine. Uh, we're going to have a little event starting at 3.30 on the 26th, um, followed by a little walking tour to kind of highlight all the different art and really show it off. Well, Jill, I'm sure that Metro took a bit of a hit when it could no longer advertise on bus shelters or benches. Does this offset that in any way, and how? Well, not financially, but we are using this as an opportunity to really beautify our shelters and give the public who use these bus shelters a nice place to stay, as well as tie it into our great community partnerships. Artworks does so much with community outreach that it really made sense for us to be working together on this. All right, Jill Dunn with Metro, Colleen Houston with Artworks. Thank you for being with Thank us. You. We're Thank excited you. about your project.